How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to go over the best dumb phones as of 2021, as of August 2021. All the links will be in the description below. All the things that you need will be in the pinned comment. And if you have any questions, put it in the comment box and I'll be interacting with you guys. So make sure to check that out. Let us first get started with the AGM M7. $99, works pretty much across the world. So GSM in North America, GSM in Europe, and GSM in Russia slash Asia. So this device has a touch screen, so it's going to be allowing you to install different applications like WhatsApp, Signal, Spotify, you name it, you will have access to it here. So it's a good transition device. If you're looking to get away from your smartphone altogether, but you want to retain some functionality, you don't want that huge screen that attracts you, but just a more durable package, then the AGM M7 is for you. For $99, it works pretty well. Works here in the United States, but make sure to also check your compatibility in your region. There's a lot of bands that this phone has, but a lot of ones that it doesn't have as well. And if that's the one that you use in your city, then you may be out of luck and not be able to use this device. So AGM M7, good compatibility across the world. You're going to be able to use it, different apps, things like that. And it works with most carriers, but please make sure. $99, a good deal. Now the next one is a little bit more expensive and mainly only for the North American market, specifically the US. This is the Kyocera Dura XV Extreme. This device is very good. It does have the ability to install a couple of extra applications, but since it doesn't have a touch screen, it may be more difficult to use. Not impossible, you still can use them, but it may be a little bit, just a little bit more difficult, but it has the basics covered, hotspot, group text messages, phone calls, it has a camera, you know, has different things that may be helpful to you. Now, again, this device is a little bit more expensive at $240, and it's mainly for Verizon customers, but also there is a version called the Kyocera Dura XV LTE Plus, I believe, that may work outside of the United States. This also has the possibility of working in Canada and some countries in Europe, but again, it's all up to the bands. Make sure to cross-reference that. So 240. The next one is has two models. So this is the LG Classic Flip. This is the one for North America. But there's another one called the LG Wine 2 LTE, which is the same thing, that works across the pond. So if you're looking for this device, LG Wine 2 across the pond, LG Classic Flip here in North America. I like this device because it's super cheap. It's $20, it has all the basics, and you can install one or two extra applications from a specific market called Apps for Flip. So you'll be able to use some extra applications here and there with this device, but it works very reliably, and for $20 is a steal. If you're here in the United States, if you don't get the LG Wine 2 LTE, if you get the LG Classic, you can only use it with a track phone, you can use it with total wireless, if you buy for 20 bucks, and every month you're going to be able to deduct from the unlock fee. If you want to use this device with your carrier, let's say that you have T-Mobile or you have AT&T and you don't want to leave it because of a price or whatever it is, you could use it, but it's going to set you back $150 to unlock it. So $20 for plus 150 is $170. So there it is, but it's a great device and I actually love it a lot because it has all the basics covered. Very good device. Now, as you see, we have some apps and most of the basics covered. Now we're moving into less apps and less of the basics to a certain degree. So the first two that I'm going to be mentioning, and this is kind of like a broad area, these are KaiOS devices. This is the Nokia devices, so the Nokia 6300 4G and the Nokia 2720V. There's different KaiOS devices out there. They may vary by region, but what I like about them, I actually use this one as my work phone, is that you have certain apps. So you have WhatsApp, you have a podcast app, you have some, you know, extra smart things and here and there with the Google Assistant. So it works very well for most people that need just a basic phone that has phone calls, WhatsApp, and that's about it. The messaging experience is not that great because in order to create group messages, you need to add a subject. And that can get annoying for a lot of people a lot of the time, but, but it works. Again, it does work, but it's a little more limited. Let's put it that way. 
So if you're looking for a device that has the basics, phone calls, text messages, group messages, camera, a couple of extra apps here and there, just WhatsApp and, you know, maybe like a podcast app or maybe, you know, a dictionary or maps, you know, very simple maps, things like that, then this is a good device. It's actually a very good alternative. I use it myself as my work phone because the only thing I need for my work phone is WhatsApp. So this device works perfectly for that. Now, the drawback from Kaios devices is that they have a lot of bloatware. So make sure to look for ones that you can remove it. Outside of the United States, I will recommend this, the Nokia 6300 or the 8000. You are able to remove some things and install other things as well. But also the 2720V is the best inside of the United States. This works with Verizon. And if you're able to unlock it, it will also work with all of the other major carriers. But this one doesn't have bloatware, which is great. And it works way faster than the Nokia 6300 4G. So that's just a thing. I love this device. Uh, the reason why I'm not using this one as my work phone is because my work phone is on US Mobile, the GSM version, not the super LTE version. Um, but you now it's a conversation for another day. Now we're moving towards the end of the video. And now we have the Sunbeam F1. The Sunbeam F1 is an excellent device. It has all of the basics, included navigation. It has very private maps. So it uses here maps instead of Google Maps. So it protects your location and privacy and things like that. It has excellent voice to text. So I love this device's voice to text. The only thing that this device doesn't have is hotspot. So it works for all of the basics, all major carriers in North America. And I am hearing that it may be exported outside of the United States as well. And we're going to be hearing some testing from there, but this is an excellent device. The Sunbeam F1, I fell in love with it. It has a touch screen if you need to compose uh, with the touch screen, a text message or things like that. And hopefully, if enough of you send emails to Sunbeam, then we may be getting an option to install applications on this device because it uses Android, uh, non-Google, non-Google version of Android, but you are able to install some APKs in here. And that will be very, very good for this device to have hotspot, to have APKs installed. It will be moving towards the more useful devices for you know most people. But if all you need is phone calls, text messages, maps, and a music application, then the Sunbeam F1 Orchid is for you. If you need more limited options, you can check out the Sunbeam other models. Some of them don't have navigation, some of them don't have voice to text, some of them don't even have text messages. So if you're just looking for phone calls, maybe a Sunbeam F1 is for you. All right, now uh, you probably have seen this device multiple times. This is the Light Phone 2. Now the Light Phone 2 is an excellent device. It is my primary device. This is where my Verizon SIM card lives. It does have compatibility outside of the United States and inside of the United States in North America. Pretty much most countries will be able to use this device and I love it. I simply love it. It's simple. It has all the basics that you need. Um, like right here, it has phone, alarm, uh, music, podcast, I don't know if you can see it, but I've made plenty of videos on this device and I love this device because it's very simple. It does what you need to do. It does receive group text messages. It works with most most carriers. I haven't found a carrier that it doesn't work with uh, personally. All the ones that I have tested, US Mobile, I've tested Verizon, AT&T, T-Mobile. Again, it's, it's compatible very greatly here in the United States and it will soon, very soon, get maps. So it's going to have navigation, the full package. You have hotspot, text, then you have, you know, uh, group text messages. You have navigation, podcasts, music. Yes, there are a couple bugs. There is a couple things that work here and sometimes they're buggy here and there, but the team is very dedicated to fixing these things. And I'm really excited about the future of this device. I love the Light Phone 2. <laughs> I think I'm not, you know, understating that because it's just a very great device, but it is a significant investment. At $300, this device is a little bit more expensive and I put it more on the limited kind of side because you cannot install, of course, all of the applications and everything, but it has hotspot, it has all the basics, excellent device. The only thing that I wish it was if it was a little bit bigger, not because of the size, the size itself, I, I love it, that's just so small, but 
that the battery. The battery is a little bit of a drawback sometimes, but it lasts one to two days. And sometimes if I'm not using it a lot, which is the point of the device, then I get to three days, which is, you know, even better. Now let's get to the final two. We get to the Punked MP02. Amazing device as well. It does have an international version and a North American version, US. It works with GSM carriers here in the United States. I actually use this as my work phone for a lot of you know my time uh, using this dumb phone. I love it. I love the design. The T9 is amazing. It works very well. Um, does have all the basics, you know, phone calls, hotspot, text messages, but it doesn't do group text messaging, which is a bummer. I really hope that Punked is able to correct that in the future. But Punked MP02, great, great device. 349, a little bit more expensive as well, but it's an excellent device and they have delivered on their promises. They have put signal on this device through their Pigeon application, which is, you know, it's just great to have that. Again, very good device, really enjoy it. It's just a little bit more expensive, a little bit more limited because it doesn't have all the Android apps, things like that. So again, Punk MP02, great device. Last but not least is the AGM M6. So the AGM M6 is about $79. It comes in those three versions, US or North America, Europe and Russia slash Asia. The AGM M6 is a great, great device. It's very basic, essentially lasts forever with you know what it has because it's a very basic operating system and it does have group text messaging. So it does have phone calls, text messages, Bluetooth, and it does have group text messaging, but it doesn't have hotspot. So it has Bluetooth, but it doesn't have hotspot. So AGM M6, a very, very good device, very rugged, is again the brother of the AGM M7. This is the smart one. This is the basic one. I like this device because it's super simple. It works here in North America. Again, some people have reported that it doesn't work in their area. It's able to send text messages, but sometimes it doesn't send phone calls. So make sure to always cross reference. But for $79, if you just want a phone that has just the mere basics, then I think this device is the one for you. So final words out of all of these best dumb phone devices. Uh, I've kind of gathered a lot of data on these phones and there may be other phones that may suit your situation a little bit better, but these are the phones that essentially have the baseline. KaiOS devices have the ability to, you know, send group text messages. You just need to do that workaround. But essentially most of these devices are great. You know, they, they, I, I love them. Now, would I pick the Life Phone 2 again? Absolutely. This is my favorite device by far, but I understand it's cost prohibitive. It, it does, you know, it's $299. A lot of people don't have that kind of money. So what are the alternatives? Well, if you just need a very basic device, just phone calls and text messages, just get an LG Classic. LG Classic Flip here in the United States or LG Wine LTE or Wine 2 LTE outside of the United States. You have the basics here. Uh, phone calls, text messages, group text messages, hotspot. That's it, you know. Now, if you need extra features like navigation, things like that, uh, and again, you're on a budget, make sure to start with KaiOS. KaiOS can be great. A lot of people just expect a lot of it uh, from the operating system. You know, they expect it to work like their smartphone, but it's not like that. Just use the basics, learn how to work around, live a little bit of a slower pace, you know, things like that. And then you have a good device for, you know, less than $100. So these devices are very good, KaiOS devices. Last but not least, if you just need all of it, you need phone calls, text messages, WhatsApp, Signal, you essentially need a smartphone, but you want it to be in a dumb phone format, then just get an AGM M7. This has all of those things. It works very well. And, you know, again, it's just essentially, you have all of the tools and $99. So for less than $100, there you have it. Those are the devices that I would get. If you want to go premium or a little bit more premium, then of course the Light Phone 2, or the Kyocera Dura X Via 250, or you have the Punk Tempi Zero 2. I love this device. This is essentially the best dumb phone for signal lovers. So if you love signal and you also want to use a dumb phone, use this device. So there you go. Uh, those are my recommendations. And if you have any questions, make sure to put it in the comments below. So 
See you in the comments.